Bioscholar again. Ears are the marvelous sensory organs that not only allow us to enjoy music and conversations, but also keep us steady on our feet. So, what's the scoop on ears? And how do they pull off their incredible feats? Well, you're in for an ear-tastic adventure as we uncover the internal structure and workings of this amazing sensory system. Ears are more than meets the eye. They're intricate and multifaceted and we'll start by exploring the outer ear, the part you can see, and then journey deeper into the ear's inner sanctum to discover the magic that happens within. So, ears consist of three main parts, the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. Each part plays a crucial role in the process of hearing. Let's break it down. Starting with the outer ear. Outer ear consists of three parts, pinna, ear canal and eardrum. The visible part of the ear, the pinna, also known as auricle, is the cartilaginous structure. We often refer it as the ear. Its primary function is to collect sound waves and funnel them into the ear canal. Next is ear canal also known as external auditory canal. It is a tube-like structure that extends from the pinna to the eardrum. It is lined with specialized skin and small hairs that help trap foreign particles and protect the ear. The ear canal directs sound waves toward the eardrum. Last one is eardrum. It's a thin membrane-like structure also known as tympanic membrane separates the outer ear from the middle ear. When sound waves strike it, it starts vibrating and converts sound waves into vibrations. These vibrations are then pass on to the middle ear. There are three tiny bones in the middle ear, collectively known as ossicles. Malleus or hammer attached to the eardrum, it receives vibrations from the eardrum. Incus or anvil transmits vibrations from the malleus to the stapes. Stapes or stirrup is the smallest bone in the human body and transmits vibrations from the incus to the inner ear. Eustachian tube connects the middle ear to the back of the throat. It plays a crucial role in equalizing air pressure on both sides of the eardrum, which helps prevent discomfort and maintain proper hearing function. The cochlea is a coiled, snail-shaped structure in the inner ear responsible for converting mechanical vibrations into electrical signals. It is filled with fluid and contains thousands of hair cells. This part of the inner ear includes the semicircular canals and the vestibule, which are essential for maintaining balance and spatial orientation. They detect changes in head position and movement. The electrical signals generated in the cochlea are transmitted to the brain via the auditory nerve also known as the cochlear nerve. Now, let's discuss the working of the ear. Sound waves are all around us, like invisible ripples in the air. The ear canal acts like a natural funnel, guiding these sound waves towards the heart of our hearing adventure. As sound waves reach the eardrum, it starts to dance to their rhythm, vibrating in response. These three tiny bones in the middle ear, the hammer, anvil, and stirrup, are like nature's amplifiers. They pick up the beat and make it louder. The stirrup, which is the tiniest bone in your body, takes the amplified vibes and passes them on to the oval window. Inside the inner ear, we've got the cochlea, our star performer. The cochlea is filled with fluid, and inside, there are thousands of tiny hair cells. As the fluid vibrates, these hair cells start dancing too, bending and swaying to the music. Now, this is where the magic becomes electric. 
Those dancing hair cells convert the music into electrical signals. These signals travel through the auditory nerve like musical notes in a wire, heading straight to the brain for processing. Inside the brain, a remarkable orchestra of neurons takes over. These neurons process the electrical signals, turning them into the symphony of sounds we hear every day. And there you have it, the basic structure and workings of our ears. They not only allow us to enjoy music, engage in conversations, and appreciate the sounds of nature, but they also help us maintain our balance. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and also press the bell icon for more videos about science and biology.